How you doing? It's your guy Engineer Mojo. I'm back with another video. This time it's going to be about how to install a pendant lighting in your house. So to get it started off fast, tools you'll need are Phillips head screwdriver, most typically. You'll need some sort of AC voltage tester. This can be picked up from your local hardware store for under ten dollars most times. And you'll need some gloves. That should be all you need for this task. If I add anything else, I'll let you know. I'm going to be installing pendant lighting right above my sink. As you see, this is a new construction. They just put the holes for me for the pendants. They did not install. They put cover plates. The very first step you want to do is go down to your circuit breaker, locate where the light circuit is, and make sure you turn it off so you're not working with any live wires. So I'm here where I'm going to put one of the pendants at this light receptacle. As you see, the cover is up here. I'm going to remove the cover. Now this is part of the reason why I use gloves. You're working around your ceiling, around your paint. You have oil from your naturally on your fingers. You're going to get a lot of spots on your paint if you don't use gloves. So I advise you just to use gloves. It makes the finish look a lot better for your ceiling. Just want to remove this. And I've already confirmed that there's no power coming to these lines by flipping switches. Uh, and I'll give you a close up of what I'm doing here, but right now I'm just pulling these wires down so I have access to them and I can see them easy. Here is a close up of the wires. Here's my assumed live wire, my ground, and my assumed neutral wire. And the reason why I say assumed is you never want to trust that whatever electrician put this in, put this in, you know, per normal install as black being live, white being your neutral wire. And so from this step, I'll go back down, flip my breaker, get power to here, and retest which one is live, which I'm assuming this is live, and which one is neutral. And this is just so when I go to hook up the light, I'm not doing double work. And I'm ensuring that what I'm installing is correct. And the reason why I shut off the power after I pull it out is because I don't want to dig in here and explore for wires. And there may be one exposed, and this is live then I'm putting myself in harm. So I turn the power off, take the wires out, turn it back on, then test, and then turn it back off. So now I've returned on power to this light. I'm gonna test the volt tester, which one is my neutral, which one is my live wire, so I can make sure it's correct. So I'm pressing the button, touching the white, which I assume is neutral. There's no indication that power is running through there, so that's a good sign. Now I'll go to the black wire, you see it's beeping. That confirms there is power running through that line. That is my live wire, which I assumed was the case in the first place. But it doesn't hurt to double check and make sure that you're working in a safe environment and that you're doing the install correctly and not damaging anything that you just bought. From here, now you wanna go back, turn off the power from the breaker, make sure it's off, confirm it's off, and continue on with the install. Usually I lay out a work area right below where I'm gonna install the light. I put something soft down like a blanket or this is a moving rug, just in case I drop something like this pendant, there's less of a chance that it will break. In your pendant, you should get a bracket. On this bracket, you'll see a green screw usually, or some kind of screw, that's your ground, and you'll wrap your ground wire that's in your home around this screw and tighten it down. These are the two screws that hold on the pendant to this bracket. And then also with this kit, there's two screws in here that you'll use to screw into your existing home light receptacle, and that just holds the bracket in place. And of course you have your pendant as well, and it comes with these wires, and it already labels them which one is neutral. The white is neutral, and you see it's, it's labeled there, and the black is hot, and it's labeled there, hot. There is a in-place bracket that I'll have to remove. This is just a placeholder for the pendant bracket I'm gonna install, and this is just two Phillip head screws that I'm removing here. Now I'm taking the pendant supplied bracket, the two mounting screws, and I'll place this back where I had the original bracket, right here, and I'll just screw that in. I now have the bracket for the light fastened into the receptacle. Next step I'll take is to wrap the ground wire around this screw. As you see, it does require a flathead or some kind of socket. 
I'll just use a flathead and tighten it down. You can add that as a tool and add a tool to the list. The ground has now, the ground now has been wrapped around the ground screw. It's all tight in there, tightened down. It's not moving around, so that's a good connection. Now we'll go ahead and connect the rest of the wires here, our live and our neutral. This set, these yellow caps right here on the live and neutral, they just screw off, lefty loosey, righty tighty. They screw off and you're left with exposed wire that you can now wrap the light wire around. And the light wire you see, it's already kind of exposed. If they're not exposed, you'll need some wire cutters to make that happen, that's not a big deal. Also an added tool, I'll make sure that's down below in the tool list. As you see, here's my live quarter. I'll just wrap this around this way, like that. I'll just wrap this around that way. This step, it helps if you have an assistant to hold the light, but if you don't, just put like a box or something beneath you that can hold the pendant. After this is hooked up, I'll go about adjusting how high I want this light. I personally like it so it's not in my viewing area. I just want the light to be over me, not directly in my viewing area. So I'll mount these just a little bit higher Probably about three and a half feet above the counter. I'll play with it to see how I like it when I sit down on the stools. And once I find a good height I like, I'll just keep it that way. And for this particular pendant, as you see, there's an adjustment clip here that you just slide up and down to make it how tall and short you want. I've connected the wires, neutral, power, brackets bolted in, ground is fastened in with the green bolt right there. That's the ground fastened in right there. Bracket secure. So from here, I've already got the height I want. I matched it to that one I just installed. And it'll be good to go. And that's the side mounting points right there. And we'll screw this back in. And again for these, you just take these, stick it on the end and then you just righty tighty. You screw it in, you keep screwing it in until it gets really tight. Here's the final pendant all screwed in. Both sides. Lights are in, both are in. After install, flip your breaker, test your lights, make sure they're looking good. Do a quick, Look at them, make sure the heights are relatively the same. That's all I have for you, it's a pretty simple install. Just make sure that you're uh, practicing safe habits, flipping circuit breakers. Some people just turn off the light switch. While technically that does break the circuit, that's not the safest possible way to do this job. You, know, you wanna break it from the actual breaker itself. And that'll be the safest way to do it. Any questions, comment down below. Any tips on how to make this easier? This is a new home to me, so I'm going through these uh, how-to videos for home items. So if you have any tips for me, just let me know. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, I learn as much from these videos on YouTube, so I'm just trying to pass it forward. So I like that as well. So I like to hear from people. So just like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.